What's up YouTube, it's LDS Reliance. Today I'm gonna to take you through how to build a passive thermal uh, solar collector, uh, basically meaning a box that collects the warmth of the sun and uh, brings it into your house or your shed or your garage or whatever. Um, so as with any construction project, there's <clears throat> probably a hundred different ways you could build this and different materials you could use. But the major uh, things that we that we need, I've got two um, eight by four poly iso boards, which is just the sheet uh, sheets of foam with the aluminum foil on the one side. I've got <clears throat> this um, polycarbonate um, roofing material. It's uh, eight by twenty six inches, I believe. We've got some window screen. It's a big roll of the charcoal color or black if you can find it. Uh, these are the little ridges to um, hold these in place because this is pretty somewhat flexible. Uh, we've got flat black paint, um, some roofing nails, some RTV silicone. Uh, it's just high temperature stuff. This was super cheap at, at uh, Home Depot. It was like seven bucks. And then some <coughs> some specialty screws to uh, to screw down the polycarbonate. And then two sheets of plywood. One's just kind of a, a little bit bigger than quarter inch, maybe three eighths of an inch. And then about the same size, maybe half of an inch a thick sheet of, this is solar board. <clears throat> it's basically just plywood with um, aluminum foil on one side. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is make the the frame of this box. So I've got two 1x6x12 by by of pressure treated uh, lumber. And I'm going to mark out 8 feet. So the sides are going to be, the lengthwise sides are going to be 8 feet. And then the other sides are going to total 24 inches. And the reason we're doing that size is because that's the size of one of these polycarbonate uh, roofing panels. Okay, when we're building this box, it's not truly a box or a rectangle, it's going to be enclosed on one end um, like a box and then it's going to angle in to the house. It's kind of hard to describe. I'll have to put a picture up to show you at the beginning of the video. But it's going to be enclosed on the one end and then it's going to come in the window at an angle. So I'll show you what that looks like next. Okay, so here you can see kind of what I was talking about where it's going to come in at an angle. The window is basically going to be here and then this is going to be the, the collector and uh, and then it comes in at a 15 degree angle uh, into the house. So in order to to affix this properly, um, I used one of my best woodworking tools that I've ever bought, which is a Craig jig. Basically, this thing allows you to drill holes at an angle very precisely, and then you can you know connect these to where they're flush and they'll, it'll be airtight. Okay, so we've got the frame built here. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, build a 24 um, wide by eight foot long piece of the solar board to be the bottom the piece. And I'm gonna get that um, installed so that it'll give this structure some rigidity so it'll be easier for me to work with. Okay, so now we have the bottom of the box attached. We got the aluminum side facing up because we want to keep the uh, the warmth inside of the box. And uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our gun, our caulking gun, and our RTV, and we're going to caulk the inside here because we want to keep this airtight. Um, now it's not necessarily necessary to paint um, the bottom of this with the flat black. There's a lot of videos out there that to how to make these things, and they 
they paint the whole inside black. It's this isn't that's not necessary because this this bottom part is going to be the cold channel. The, the air is going to come in at the bottom of this. It's going to come in. It's going to fall down to the bottom here, and then it's going to come up through a channel in here. And there's going to be another channel on top where the screens are that's going to let the hot air back into the house. So we don't need to spray the bottom. All we need to do is caulk the edges. Okay, so I have let this dry and cure for 24 hours now. So uh, and this is now airtight. So now what we need to do is we need to cut a piece of the foam board um, to meet the bottom part of this and uh, get it nailed down and affixed so that we can work on uh, the, uh, the screen portion. Okay, now that I've got this cut and fitted, um, I'm using roofing nails to hold it down and keep it uh, flush with the bottom piece so we don't get air pockets in, in behind there. All right, now we're gonna cut some strips out of some leftover plywood that I have here. Uh, we're gonna cut two inch strips out of this and what that's going to do is it's gonna lay right here and be the support um, for the sh the shelf that's going to go over top that's going to divide the cold side on the bottom from the hot side on the top okay so here i've got this piece cut and uh, i cut it six inches short of the bottom there that's basically that's all going to be open space there that's where the cold air is going to fall to the bottom and collect there and then um, the warm portion at the top is going to draw from that. It's going to kind of be like a plenum. Okay, so I've got this rail or whatever we want to call it attached now. And uh, I attached it from the outside and that's so that uh, it's easier to take apart in the future if I need to, to make repairs or swap out pieces or whatever. So um, Anyway, that's that's attached now, and uh, I'm gonna do the other side, and then we'll work on the shelf. Okay, so we've got the shelf cut out, and it's just another piece of the uh, poly ISO um, meant to fit. So now you'll you can see that we'll have two shelves. Uh, the cold air will go in here, warm air will come back out up, up up top. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna build the screen um, assembly. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to take this piece of solar board and cut some one inch strips um, to length. And they're going to sit in here and kind of space this screen up an inch over this board. So I'm going to cut two of those strips, rip those with the table saw, uh, and then we'll build the screen. Okay, so now we have these rails, uh, or these spacers, whatever we want to call them, installed here. Um, and just like with the other uh, piece on the bottom, they're just uh, screwed in to hold them in place. That's also going to have the added benefit of sandwiching the, uh, the plate in the middle, <coughs> the ISO board, poly ISO, uh, between two very firm uh, pieces of wood. So this this isn't going anywhere, it doesn't need to be glued down or anything. So actually before I build the screen, I'm going to paint with some flat black paint. I'm going to paint the inside on this side. All of this is going to see direct sunlight. <clears throat> actually this is going to be through the screen, but we still want to go ahead and paint it so it'll absorb as much heat and not reflect anything. And then uh, paint down in here too because this will see some sunlight as well. Okay, so here we're going to build the screen. What we've got is we've got just a piece of, I'm not sure what they called this at the the lumber supply store, but <clears throat> it's uh, it's about a quarter of an inch or so thick. It's a long piece. It's eight feet, which is exactly what we wanted. And um, so we're going to be stapling this screen um, to this. It's going to be 22 and 5 eighths wide to fit in the inside of that. And uh, it needs to be like six and a half feet, or uh, six and three quarters inches short of eight feet. So I'm gonna cut these, then we're gonna staple this on and then cut off the excess off the side. Okay, so we've got the screen installed, built and installed. 
<clears throat> um, maybe I'll be able to show you up a little bit, but basically we've got these three screens sandwiched between four pieces of this stripping material, this uh, one fourth or so thick strips of wood. Um, I had to add a little piece of wood here to keep it um, from buckling a little bit because it's really thin and it splits when you screw into it. But anyways, it worked. Um, the The screens are kind of tight, but but maybe not as tight as I would have liked. So um, you know, if I had spent some more time engineering this, maybe I'd have figured out a way to to engineer the the full sides and then you know all four corners and then be able to stretch them out but the idea was to have them between the two pieces so that I could pull them apart and tighten them um, that way when they were being installed but you know it worked uh, I don't think that uh, this is critical for the design all the air is going to have to pass through um, those screens and uh, and this should really radiate some heat so now what I'm going to do is uh, paint spray paint uh, these black and then we'll be ready to start working on the uh, the lid or the the uh, polycarbonate uh, sheet that's going to go on the top okay so I am ready to install this uh, polycarbonate uh, sheet on top um, it looks like um, unfortunately um, I'm going to have to install I'm going to install these strips on the end that it came with and that's going to leave a tiny bit of gap underneath on the sides so I'm going to have to go get some uh, some foam strip to put all the way up um, actually on both sides so uh, that wasn't something I anticipated but that's the way these projects go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting and get to getting to work on uh, getting this installed, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so I've got the foam underneath the polycarbonate, and uh, I'm using these special screws. These are purpose. Um, these screws are specifically for this. Um, they have a little gasket underneath the, the washer there and uh, they go right into the wood and, uh, and then the gasket will prevent any air from getting in there moisture. So um, I also had to rig up a little bit of a support piece here uh, just because um, this piece of wood that I put underneath this uh, strip at the top needed a little bit of support. It's kind of thin. Okay, this morning I'm uh, finishing this off with uh, kind of the continuation of the um, the two levels uh, out through this outlet. Actually, the the bottom is the inlet. The bo the top is the outlet. So basically, just continuing the that shelf and then enclosing it. Uh, and getting it ready to install in the window. So um, this is probably the most random material to use for this, but I've, I've just got some hardy board laying around um, that I don't have any other use for. And uh, so I'm gonna cut some, some pieces uh, with that um, just to kind of keep material costs down. This is what, uh, what the idea is. It's already really hot, uh, air is coming inside, but uh, you know, it doesn't fit perfectly to the window, but that wasn't the purpose. This is basically kind of a science experiment. Prove the concept, see if I want to invest in the future in building a more sophisticated one. And about probably $100 in materials. It took me a couple days, but not full days of work. Um, a couple trips to the hardware store, and it uh, wasn't too, too hard to build. So anyways, hopefully this sparks some ideas for you guys, and uh, I'll be posting another video soon with some data of uh, the kind of temperatures I'm getting and so forth. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.